If there's true theater color, is there false theater color? Hey Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on true theater color. So let's jump right into Power Director 15 Ultimate and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 15 Ultimate. Before I get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks like this every Saturday. The first thing I want to do is just drag a few clips down into the timeline so that I can use for this um, tutorial. Now, first clip here is one of the mountains. It's just majestic, beauty, majesty, beautiful. And we're going to add some great saturation to this clip. So what I want to do is go to Fix Enhance. And then under the Enhance section, you'll find an option here for Color Enhancement. So when I click on this, you will automatically see that there's a change in the image. Let me click on this and uncheck this real quick. And you see how the change to the sky and the mountains, that they become more vivid and more vibrant. Well, basically what's happening is the true theater color enhancement is adjusting the color saturation ratio in the video. And so you can use a slider here to control just how much of that saturation ratio is added or remove from the video. This is a great effect to get the that pop that you're looking for in your videos. So let's go to this other clip here. So you see I have a clip of this nice young lady. She's jogging, you know beautiful day in the neighborhood, all that. I'm gonna go back to Fix Enhance again. And then I'm gonna add Color Enhancement again. And you'll see on the left-hand side of the screen, and also on the right, wherever you see like the green or the brown, you'll see that there's a change in the amount of saturation to those colors. But what it, this effect tries not to do is impact the skin tone as much as it impacts the other colors on the screen. So you can see that there is a slight impact to her skin tone, but when I click on this and add it, it's not really a big impact. There is some, but nowhere near as much as it's adding to the other colors in the scene. So. If you want to add more saturation and make your colors pop in your video and you don't want it to impact the skin tones as much, this is a great tool for you to use to get that color pop in your videos. All right, Power Director peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, I want to send a shout out to one of our subscribers, Turbo F3 Gaming. Turbo F3 Gaming makes gaming videos. So if you're into video games, go over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you want to receive a shout out like Turbo F3 Gaming did, make sure that you go to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you have a video tutorial that you'd like to request, go to the video description and fill out our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click on that because it lets people know that the content in the video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk, chop it up with your boy, do those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button and after you do that, click on the bell. Because when you click on the bell, you get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching.
We'll see you again soon.